Let's talk about some of the terms that come up when you want to start an offshore company. Shell company, shelf company. What are these terms? What is the difference between them? How do they affect your offshore plan? And why do spy shows on TV seem to talk about them so much? We're going to cover all that in this video. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. There is a lot of terminology out there and there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to setting up your offshore company. Now here at Nomad Capitalist, our perspective is six and seven figure entrepreneurs who, as we say, want to go where they're treated best. They want to find a country that welcomes their business rather than repels it, rather than trying to tax half of it. They want to go where they can get a good deal and keep a lot more of their own money. But here's what happens. Okay? Most people are never going to start a business offshore. Most people are never going to start a business at all. And so there's a lot of demonization of people who want to go where you're treated best, kind of like the crabs in a bucket. So a lot of terminology is thrown around that's kind of media parlance for offshore companies. One term you've probably heard is shell company. What is a shell company? Well, it is core, a shell company is a company that's set up with no real business behind it. So let's say you want to buy a property or you want to buy a property and then immediately sell it to someone else. You might set up a shell company to uh, you know, do that transaction, have some anonymity behind it possibly, and then just use it for that one purpose and then close it down. Okay? That is basically what a shell company is. Uh, and that's becoming a lot harder to do now because there's a lot more anonymity or a lot less anonymity rather in companies uh, as well as it's becoming more and more difficult to open a bank account for a shell company. So if you were just to go and set up a, a brand new company and there were no business operations behind it, a lot of banks simply wouldn't accept you. They want to know what the business is. Uh, and so that's becoming more and more difficult. Uh, where shell company gets wrongly discussed is where they say you, the business owner, are starting a shell company in an offshore tax haven to reduce your tax. The reduce your tax part is correct and obviously simply setting up a company somewhere else as we often talk about, that's not enough to simply lower your tax rate. You can't just set up the company and keep everything else you're doing the same. But provided that you're creating a proper legal offshore structure and, and you're doing everything correctly, the company the average entrepreneur or investor sets up is not a shell company in the sense of there is a legitimate purpose behind it. People in the media jump to this uh, assumption because it's the accepted parlance that, that scares the average person out there and, and outrages the average person who is you know, just you know, playing by the rules where they live that you have the option to go where you're treated best. And then so they say, oh, he set up a shell company in Panama or the BVI or Seychelles. Well, if that company has business behind it, then it's not really a shell company. It's an offshore company, but it's a trading company. And so it's an entirely different thing. And what I don't want you to do is get those two confused. Shell company in reality is you set it up, you do one quick thing, money just flows through. It has often been associated, in all fairness, with illegal deals, just flowing money through or just use it as a waypoint in, in transmitting dirty money. But that's not what we're talking about at all here at Nomad Capitalist. We're talking about legitimate companies for trading and for investing. Those are not shell companies. Now, the slightly different term off by one letter is the shelf company. Okay, maybe you've heard about the shelf company. This is something that has been historically offered by some of the uh, offshore service providers who want people to offer you a company. You, you want to open a company, but you don't want to wait around. And so they have a collection of aged shelf companies named because they are sitting on the shelf, as it were. Uh, these companies may have been opened six months ago, a year ago, in some cases, you know, five or ten years ago. What's the reason for this? Again, for the average six or seven figure entrepreneur who is just running a normal trading business, there's not going to be a benefit. Um, this is where you're going to save a few days on incorporating, but, but things are so efficient and quick these days in terms of setting up a company, you're probably not going to lose sleep over wasting one day or even seven days waiting for your offshore company to be set up the way that you want it set up, with your name on it, with, with the name of the company that you want. Uh, and so 
what a shelf company could be used for is someone who wants access to a more seasoned company that makes them look more legitimate. There's an argument that you can more easily get credit through a shelf company. I'm not sure that really works in, a, in an offshore sense. I don't really see a need for a shelf company, and so I will say that um, while there's not necessarily a nefarious uh, intent uh, in and of itself with a shelf company, they are often used by people who are trying to cut some kind of corner. And I just don't see the benefit. If you're going to uh, set up an active trading company that moves your business offshore and you're going to do it the right way, just pick your jurisdiction, whether it's Hong Kong, BVI, Malta, wherever you want to go, and set up your company from scratch. You don't need something off the shelf. I don't see advantages for any of the people that I help do this to have a shelf company or to use a shell company. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes, build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.